Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again. Today I have a button, and here it is. Now there's no wires attached to that button, and I'm gonna show you just what it does, what it can do, and what we can connect to here right away. Let's get going. All right, well let's get started here. Now, button is not just as simple as I just showed you. There's a number of different colors and makes and, and a number of different things that you can put on the button. Now, I'm just on the button website here and you can see a number of different companies that have actually already gone ahead, used button for different tasks, and they've stuck their logos on button. So that's a great little feature. You can stick these little buttons anywhere and I'll show you how that happens. Now, there's two models of button. There's the button mini and the button classic. Both of them come capable of connecting either through a cell tower, a 2G network, basically GSM, or a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. Now moving on from there, let's get this box opened up. So this is the box you get from Button. It's pretty simple. There's not a lot of packaging here. And what's amazing about this to me is literally the only thing in the box is the Button itself. It's just packaging and Button. So there you go, here's the device. Very simple, there's no wires, there's no connection at all necessary. You just have a tab on the back that allows you to actually open up button and within it there's a SIM card you can see just inside the green area. Okay now once you put the batteries in you just go ahead close the case and it starts its boot up sequence. Now they give you right on the box activate your button at that address so I'm just gonna head there in my browser now and we're gonna go ahead and see what's happened. Now again, that button just started booting up as soon as I got the batteries in there. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna register on the website and I'm gonna use a username and password but you could use Facebook or Google. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here. You don't need to watch that whole process but there you go, my button is instantly activated and it's giving a signal strength. Now I'm in a poor location, so I'm getting a poor signal strength here, but my button is already connected and communicating with the button website. So that's amazing, straight out of the box, put some batteries in, and you're already connected. So now heading into the setup, now if you wanted to set up for Wi-Fi or set up for a mobile network, if you didn't have any of that, it's right here on the website. So connecting to Wi-Fi is pretty simple as well. I'm not going to roll through all of that, but the instructions are right on the website here. Now moving on back, let's have a look at some of the configuration here for a button. There's all kinds of properties and different things that you can look at, edit, and configure here. But essentially, this is a button. So there's not a lot you have to do out of the box. These are just options that you can roll through if you'd like to customize some of the things going on. Now, continuing on, let's go ahead and see some of the native actions that you can take with your button. It's already configured out of the box to send you an email to your account that you registered with on their website. Inside there, you can change what is being emailed to you. You can change the text. You can change a number of things. You can also change where it's being emailed to. So you can go ahead and you can customize that right out of the box. Basically, every time someone pushes this button, you're going to get a notification. Here's that notification out of the box. It instantly showed up in my email. And again, this is basically from me putting batteries in and pushing the button. So that's, that's amazing functionality right out of the box. Now, some of the other actions that you can take here, you can see if this, then that, that's one of our favorite tools here. That's what I'm gonna actually set up and configure today. So we're gonna go ahead, this is all you have to do inside the button website and you're good to go 
with if this then that after that. So once you've configured your button for usage with if this then that, then you can move on to the if this then that website. Now as I said, there's a number of different other options that you can do natively. You can send a text message or you can send uh, to Twitter, you can tweet each time someone's pushed the button. And again, there's a number of other different actions that you can take straight out of the box with button. Now let's move over to if this then that. We're actually going to do a search for button and we're going to hit connect on our button. Now because we're already logged into the website, this is a pretty simple thing. You're just going to go ahead, choose the button down below, and then you're going to go ahead and hit authorize. Now, once we're authorized, now you can see a number of the different pre-made applets that other people have created in If This and That. I'm going to turn on the Log Work Hours with button in a spreadsheet. So this is a great application for button right out of the box. You have a worker who's come in. This is basically the way that they tell you they're at work. You can add in the ingredients that you'd like into the name and what's in each row and what's in each column as you log work hours. So now I've gone ahead, I've enabled that. Let's do a demo of how this actually works. Now here I am in my Google Drive account and you're gonna actually see as I push the button, you'll see a folder pop up immediately. That's what I configured in If This Then That and there's a spreadsheet inside already. Now it has all of my configured columns and sets of data that I wanted. It tells me exactly when this person basically started work or stopped work, depending on what you're doing. Now let me show you something even more amazing as I'm sitting inside of Google Drive, and people who use Google Drive will know that this happens, but as I'm sitting inside of Google Drive, if I go ahead and I push the button again, a second row will actually show up. And there it is. Now, just taking a peek into statistics here, there's a number of statistics that you get from button. Just when you purchase the button, you get a whole dashboard here of information. You can see how often you're pressing the button or how often the button's been pressed the average time in between presses. There's a number of different statistics. And, and uh, so this is great for a business to kind of see, let's pretend you're tracking sales. You can actually see those sales coming in on this dashboard. It's an automatic dashboard for tracking whatever you'd like. Okay, well, I've got my button all connected there. It's all working across the mobile network and I've got it connected to if this then that. So next time I'm going to show you how to do even more with this and I'm going to show you how to connect it up to a number of different devices and really use it in your home automation. We'll see you next time.